Thomas Robert Malthus was born in 1766 in United Kingdom and he was the first academic economist. He published a book called An Essay on the Principle of Population. He also a foreigner of classical school. When he alive, he observed three theories in his research, which are population growth, poor laws, and market guards. He mentioned that food supply is not enough for humans. This is because in his book, he said that population will grow at an exponential rate and the food supplies will grow at an elementary rate. According to Mousters, there are two types of tests that can reduce a population growth rate. Firstly, experimental checks is to control the growth of the population which include late marriages and never marriages due could afford the fees for growing up a children. Another check is about positive checks also known as natural check. Mountains believe that natural forces such as earthquake, misery, wars and farmers would correct the imbalance between food supply and population growth. Next is Poros. Poros were a system of poor relief in England and Wales. Poros is used to solve the problem of beggars and wagons. Thomas Morton against with Poros. He did not support government relief for the poor because he argued that poverty and misery are the natural punishment for the poor to exercise their moral restraints. If government helps those unweight, poor will only encourage and lift the poor many more, increase birth rate, rise the population growth rate, and ultimately worsening the hunger problem. Lastly, theory of market guts. It's great due to failure of sales law. It refers a shortfall in aggregate demand. In this theory, Thomas Malthus stated that workers only receive subsistence wage that enough to cover their basic needs. They do not have buying powers to purchase goods. Meanwhile, producers or capitalists receive more income than they can spend on consumption goods, but they do not spend all their income in the commodities market. This causes insufficient demand in market. In fact, inventories builds up as aggregate demand for capitalists gain no profit and will cut down their cost of production by laying off the workers and ultimately happening unemployment. Mm-hmm.